okay record okay i think we are recording now okay so that we'll be able to have the, the session now good evening everybody and welcome to this online class on how to uh, run a successful pos business so this class is for those that just want to start those that already started those that are new in the business so and we'll be covering a lot of good things here. We'll be covering a lot of things that really concern each and every one of us. Uh, <clears throat> now, the first thing, I'll be starting with a very, very uh, unfamiliar thing because, and because this is something I've seen a lot of people do that makes them lose business in, uh, lose money in this business. Now, the first thing is uh, I'll be talking about is reconciliation. And this, this class is going to be an interactive one. Now, do we do we know, like, as new agents or existing agents, I can see Mr. Emmanuel is here. So, um, do we know what we call reconciliation? Now, reconciliation is is just a big word, boy. All it means is that you comparing, like, you doing your balancing your your accounts at the end of the day. I don't know if if you are following me. So. Um, Reconciliation in POS business is very, very important because you are dealing with money. You are, you are dealing with money. I've seen a lot of agents. They start with a millionaire, more than a millionaire, but when they want to leave this business, uh, they live almost empty handed. Why? Because they are not doing reconciliation. So there are two ways of doing this business. One is that you can do the business yourself. That is, you stay in the outlet yourself. And the other one is that you can employ somebody and let the person stay with you. So most people, they leave employees there without doing reconciliation, without balancing their, their accounts. Now reconciliation, what most people, the where most people use reconciliation the most is uh, for checking your POS credits. Now let's take, for example, <clears throat> we know there are a lot of POS companies out there and most POS companies, most MMOs are better than banks. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Larix, Mr. Larry, Mr. Kenny Glover, for raising up your hand. And you, you are going to really, really enjoy this uh, this session. So um so what we are saying is uh, for reconciliation, you need to you need to make sure you are balancing your accounts every day it's, it's not something you you wait for the end of the week to say okay let me balance my account because by that time it might be very it might be too late for you to to audit your account because you might have lost a lot of money without you knowing so it is very very important to audit your account every day what i mean by audit your account every day is okay how much did you withdraw today and how much did the POS company uh, credit you? And uh, now let's take a quick survey. For those of us that have been doing this business, that we are already doing it, how many of us have done reconciliation today? Can we see a, a raise of hand? If you've done your reconciliation at the end of the business today, can I see some hands up? Have you done reconciliation today? Let's see some hands, let's see some comments. So, because you, this is something you have to be doing every day. Something you have to be doing. Okay. Sorry, we have some background noise. Okay, I think that's coming from Mr. Kenny. Okay, let's stop. Please, Mr. Kenny, please kindly mute your mute your audio. So, hello, Mr. Kenny. Hello, Mr. Kenny. Okay. See. Okay. Okay. The noise is not coming from you. Sorry. So now, okay, I'm waiting for us. So if we've done our reconciliation today, let's see. Let's see. Okay, Mr. Ade. Okay, thank you. Now it is very very important. I I can I won't lie to you. 
personally i've lost a lot of money personally i've lost millions of naira to reconciliation because when we first started this business there are some pos that will credit you you do let's say for example you withdraw you withdraw let's say 500,000 a day and they will credit you 450,000 naira but when you, you are bring your recording you say okay mr a withdrew 30,000 i collected 600 naira you are happy mr b withdrew 10,000 i collected 200 naira you are happy at the end of the day you say okay yeah my charges my gain is a uh, is 10,000 naira today thank god i'm a millionaire now if i take 10,000 naira for 30 days that's 30,000 naira uh, 300,000 naira but that that's not the way it works because at the end of the day, when you are doing a withdrawal of five hundred thousand naira and the bank or the MMO is crediting you, uh, they are crediting you, uh, let's say four fifty thousand naira, which is which means you are running at a loss of uh, of fifty thousand naira. So it is very very important for you to know how much they credit you, and the way to know is that you log into your dashboard. Most of these MMOs they have uh, EOD, which is why you must keep your receipts. I repeat, always keep your receipts. Please, this class is going to be very, very practical. It's not going to be something that I try to sugar, sugarcoat anything. I'm going to be telling, giving you tips. You can keep, take a pen, keep writing them down. So uh, you must make sure you, you must make sure you um, uh, balance your accounts, you check how much so most of these mmos they have uh eod they have receipts so when you do transaction in a day always keep the receipt because if they credit you let's say they credit you four fifty thousand naira and you did five hundred thousand naira the only evidence you have that the transaction was successful is the receipt you print out so it is very funny to me that some people will go to the supermarket, they will, they will go to the mall to buy phone, they will to buy other gadgets, and they will keep the receipts. But when they do POS transaction of 150,000, they will throw the receipt away. <laughs> this is money we are talking about. You don't joke with money. So, so you have to keep proper record. At least for a month, you have to keep the receipts. I, I used to have receipts of three months in, in the office. So it was when it was causing a lot of uh, trouble around that I had to dispose them. But now you always get a receipt of a month in my office. So uh, I, I am advising everybody on this call to make sure you keep proper receipts and proper record of everything. Yes. Somebody said receipt clears after some time. Yes, the only the, the, the things that make receipts to clear is one, if you put it in a place that is wet, that is if water touch the receipts, all this paper, the uh, all this thermal paper, they usually uh, they, they're not usually good with water. So water and uh, it, maybe you you put it down and maybe there's some kind of uh, steam or something like that that fall on it. So that's what makes it. Uh, clean and before a receipt can even clean off totally, it will take about a month, a month and a half. So, which is enough for you to have cleared everything because sometimes you just sit down and say, The money I'm using to run this business is reducing. So, if you don't have receipts to back it up, you won't, your, even your conscience will not be clear that, Oh, where is my money? Is it with the, with the company that's running the POS? For some of us that are using bank POS, we, we, we will have experienced this a lot. In fact, uh, one of a friend of mine not too close friend uh uh he was using uh, a bank pos and one day one day they told him you what he, what, what he used to do because bank pos they would just sometimes they will just credit you for decline transaction that you don't even know sometimes they will credit him 100 80 70 it was like hey free money the day they would debit him like this it was millions of naira they debited him so and you won't you won't be able to come forward and tell them that ah my money has gone because you know that <laughs> you've been you've been keeping your money too. So it is very very important that when you do hundred naira they should credit you hundred naira or they should credit you ninety nine point eight naira after removing the charges. Don't say ah I see extra money. Yes, if you see any extra money that you did not understand, try to call the attention of your banker and take notes, take proper record of that day. Okay, so that's that's a, a reconciliation. Now, the way to do reconciliation, uh, I'm not sure. If I don't have a. Uh, I would have loved to show us uh, on paper and pen, 
but I don't think that will be possible on this call. Okay. So the way to do a uh, reconciliation, okay. I think I have a video on that. Probably I'll be dropping dropping the link to the video. Uh, okay. Okay, let me drop the, the formula I usually use for reconciliation. Okay, I believe some of us don't use, some of us don't collect transfer. Uh, that is maybe a customer wants to transfer to you and uh, he wants to collect cash. I know some of us don't collect that, but for those that collect that, I'm going to leave us a general formula. So if you, if you collect transfer, that is transfer in, uh, that's, what, that's what I mean by transfer in. I'm going to share the formula now, I'm typing it. So this is um, this deposit. We all know what deposit is. We all know what POS is. POS here is, means the amount, total amount you do on POS per day. So the total amount you do on POS per day, I'm going to be explaining each and every one of the, uh, of the terms in the formula. So, so, so that we can, so that we know how to clear our accounts, how to know whether our account is balanced. Okay, let me name it amount left. Left. So let's check the chat, uh, the chat group. I've dropped the, uh, the, the formula. Okay, uh, sorry, I think I dropped it in the wrong place. Okay, let's copy. Let's put to all, to all, everyone publicly. Okay. Everyone admitting. Okay, sorry. Oh, I think I've sent it to everybody. So if you check the chat session here, you I see, work, yeah. see, hello? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. So, uh, hello? Yes. Yes, yeah, go. All right. So if you check the chat session, you see a formula. So the formula is POS plus transfer in minus deposits plus funds plus charges equal to amount left. Now let's take, for example, you leave an employee in your shop. You say, oh, I want to go and quickly do something. I'm going home. Or, okay, maybe the employee is the one that stays there permanently. So how to check if the employee's account is balances? Uh, you add the POS plus the transfer, the uh, customer's transfer to your account. So let's say the POS you did for the old day is, let's say it's 80,000. Let's say it's 80,000. And the, uh, the, the people that transfer to your account, okay? Okay. And the people that transfer to your account, they transfer, let's say 20,000 Naira. So that's, that's about 100,000 Naira. Or let's say the people that transfer to your account, they transfer, that is, that's the one I call transfer in. That is, they transfer in to your accounts. So you add that to your POS. That's, okay, let's say it's 100,000 Naira now. Okay, let's say the POS is 80,000. Let me, let me use a, an example so that we can understand better. Okay, now the transfer in 20,000 Naira to your account. So that means the total amount that they send to you is 100,000 Naira. So you bracket the two, you bracket it. So you minus that from, so, so deposit is the deposit customer brings to you. Okay, help us send this money to so, 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 so person, help us do this transfer. They give you cash. They say, okay, transfer this money to this person. So that's that's the deposit. Let's say okay, in a day you do one hundred and twenty thousand naira in deposit. Okay. So now let's add that. Now the funds, the funds is the cash you brought to 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 work that day. Let's say okay, here you are going. You say okay, uh, Taye as the employee collect fifty thousand as your funds. And let us all note that we should be very very careful. For, for those of us that usually give employee big, big sums of money, it is very, very risky. It is very, very risky. So it's better to have a structure whereby you, you give them in a bit, okay, let's say in a day you, you people withdraw like 300,000. You should not give employee more than, even maximum you should give the employees 100,000. That's even too much. You can give them 50,000. When, when the money finishes, give, wow. the, give the, hello? 
understand. Okay. When the money finishes, give them we another one. Too. Yes. If you can't, if you can't give them, uh, if you think you will not be, find somebody, uh, find someone around us. Maybe the person sells goods or something like that. That the employee can be going to the place to collect cash, and you transfer to the person's account. So it is much, much, uh, much more safe, safer that way than just giving employee. I, I know some people that give employee four hundred thousand. Why they are not there? When you are there, you can do that. But even with that, because you have to be very, very security conscious. Some customers will come to you and tell you, "I want to withdraw five hundred thousand." It's not that they want to withdraw five hundred thousand; they just want to know how much you have in your purse, so that later they will come and claim their <laughs> the money. So, uh, so that's that. So that's <laughs> funds. Funds is the amount you 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 bring to work. Okay, let's say is you give the employee fifty thousand. Let's say it's fifty thousand. Now you add that to the charges. The charges is the charges, the, the, the gain, not really the gain, but the money the, you charge customer. Okay, I want to deposit 5,000. <laughs> okay, you say 100 naira, you say 200 naira. Okay, internet connection is comfortable. Okay, you say 100 naira, you say 200 naira. So after you add all those charges together. Okay, maybe on 1,000, you collect 100 naira. On 10,000, another 10, somebody will draw 10,000 again, you collect uh, 300 naira. Or 200 naira, so you add that. So That's the charges, bad, is, yeah. okay. I think we are online. Oh, yeah, yeah, clearly. Hello, can you hear me now? Hello, can you hear me now? I can hear you clearly. Not talking about okay. okay. Okay, I think it should be better now. Yes. Okay. Now, let's now the charges. You add all the charges together. Let's say, okay, you are lucky today. You get, you get ten thousand naira, or let's say, okay, okay, we are small guys here. Let's say eight thousand naira. So you add that. So you bracket it. So equals to that is when you finish all this calculation. Like all these ones that are inside the uh, the bracket, you should the money that should be left with the employee should be what is after this equal to is what we call amount left. We are going to actually do the mathematics together now. So now eighty thousand plus twenty thousand that's hundred thousand. So on this side we have hundred thousand. You can actually write this this thing down so that after the class. You'll be able to also check it and implement it for your business. Now, minus those. So, if we add one twenty thousand to fifty thousand, that's seventy thousand. So that that's one seventy thousand plus eight thousand. That's one seventy eight thousand. So one seventy eight thousand. So now that means that means we will have. That's working. Yes. So now, so that means we have 100,000 minus 178,000. That means at the end of the day, the employee should have 78,000. So at the end of the day, the employee should have 78,000 with R. That is, so she should, he or she should have 78,000 with R. That is the amount you you are supposed to collect from the employee. So, and if we can all do it, I don't know if this will be possible, but if you can do it, it is better to be, for you to be the one handling your deposit for the employee, or you have a staff that is dedicated to handling the deposits because a lot of employees have, have had situations where, uh, it doesn't happen to me personally, but one of my friends, he employed somebody the employee transferred 70,000 naira to the account because what the boss, okay, what the boss did was that all the, he, he gave the employee access to the POS account. So if, even though if you are going to give employee the opportunity to do deposit themselves, don't give them the access to the, to the POS accounts they are using. Why? Because now let's say the employee did 80,000 naira. That means the employee has access to 
your 80,000 Naira plus any other cash that's with that. So the money, the risk you are taking is much. So, but if you separate the, uh, the POS account from the account she's using, okay, maybe you create another, a separate account for her, he or, he or she, and you put just maybe 30,000 Naira there at once. That means your exposure, your risk exposure is like 80,000 Naira compared to just leaving all the POS money with her and the cash again, so which is too, too, too much. So the, the, the way you can do it is not reveal, revealing your PIN or password to employee. So you only give them the password of the account they were using to do deposits. Now, I think we've covered something. So if we have any question, please let's ask before we move on to the next uh, stage. Please let's ask. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, with you. Good evening, sir. Okay. Good evening. Please, the question I have is this. Okay. Uh, you are talking concerning that we shouldn't refer the pay uh, to our agents. Do you okay. understand me? Be our employee. Yes. So, do you mean do you mean the terminal pay or which pay are you talking about? I'm talking about the terminal pin. So the terminal pin and the wallet pin that is connected to that terminal. So if you want to give the employee wallets, give them a wallet that's different from the one that's connected to that terminal. Do you get that? No, sir. Hello? I don't understand, sir. OK. I mean, OK, you have two wallets now. Let's say wallet A and wallet B. OK. Now, wallet A, there's a POS that's connected to it. You know, wallet is like an account. Yes. So there's a POS connected to that account, to that wallet. So if you want to give employee a wallet, don't give them wallet A. Give them wallet B that's not connected to any POS. Okay. And don't, don't give them the pin of wallet A so that they will now log in because all these people, <laughs> they are very, very dubious. In fact, before when you when you get to know that they are stealing from you, they will have gone too, too, too far that you won't be able to even say, ah, so, so, so that's it. So there are some things you put in place just to prevent uh, such things from happening. So I, I hope you get the explanation now. Yes. And then secondly. Okay. Secondly, sir. The second question is that I uh, concerning the charges now. Okay. How are we going to separate it now? Maybe someone can come to us. Do you understand now that okay. we should maybe he or she wanted to withdraw two thousand naira? Do you understand now? Okay. Maybe some will some will tell us that we should remove two thousand one. Okay. Do you understand? So other than that will be that charges where some will come with other naira with uh, on his hand. Yes. Yes. So we to separate while right? calculating the charges. Okay. Now, if you use the formula I give you above, the formula I give you above is just to clear what is between you and the employee. That is to know whether the employee is stealing or the employee is not stealing from you. That is to balance the employee's okay. accounts. Now, it is now left to you after the the. Now, if the employee's account is balanced, it is now left to you to do reconciliation between you and the POS company. Are you getting me? Okay. Now you check, okay, okay that's another part of checking again. So you check, okay, okay uh, this guy said she did 80,000 error. At least after removing their charges, you, you should still have 79,000 plus share you get yes. in, your, in your accounts. So yeah. that 79,000 plus, you now go to your wallet. You can start, there are some wallets that have uh, option to view the, the total credit they credit you. So you, if you see the total credit that is uh, 75,000, you know that, hey, boy, <laughs> my, my 4,000 plus don't deal with you. So, that's, you, so you, you, that's how you balance between you and uh, the MMO. Now, if you want to know if your money is increasing, maybe the charges you collect, maybe yesterday now, the, you, you, are, you already know your capital. Let's say you have yes. 200,000 capital. Yesterday, the 200,000 capital, at least at the close of business today, you should have about 200 and... Uh, okay, this meeting will end before I'm going to remove the 
Okay. So, no. Now, uh, if you have 200,000 now, at the end of business yesterday, now at the end of business today, maybe you you make profit of 2,000 at least. Today, that is after removing the bank charges, you make profit of 2,000 uh, 2, At least today, you should have 202,000 naira. That is all the money in your wallets and the one you have as cash should be equal to 202,000 naira. Hope you get that. So there are different, like there are different branches. Let me say it like that. There are different branches. After clearing yourself and employee parts, you need to clear your parts and uh, the MMO parts to say, okay, so I credit me. Did you credit me okay. all the money I did? Then you also need to say, okay, is my money, is my business money increasing or decreasing? So we should. <laughs> so that's how to do. Uh, all those ones. It's not that you put okay. everything in one place. No, it will be too complex. Just do you and employee clear yourself. You and MMO clear okay. yourself. Then check your business uh, performance too. So that's how okay. to do it. I don't understand this. Aspect so if I had you, if I had you correct now, what you are trying to say is that uh, I should ask my employee to write all the amount the customer wished to withdraw. For instance, if the customer came to him that. Uh, he or she wanted to withdraw 2,100 naira. Uh, I should ask her that you should write 2,100. The amount that you press on the machine. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Write that's what, yes, that's what the employee will write. The exact amount. So the exact amount that she press on the if, machine. If, if it's 2,001, you should, you should write yes, 2,001. Yes, she should write 2,001. Yes, yes. Okay. So that's how. So because that's what you, you use to do your reconciliation with the POS company. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Okay, what up, hello? Yes, I can hear you. Hello. hello. Yes, we, we are hearing you. Hello. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello can you hear me now? Hey. Okay, now go on, Mr. Kenny. Hello. Mr. Kenny, we can hear you. Okay. So uh, what I'm saying is that if a customer, maybe customer came to me now and he asked me to withdraw 2,000 Naira. Do you okay. understand now? Okay. So that I should remove the charges from that 2,000 Naira. Okay. So I will still... I will, I will still ask my employee to write that 2,000 naira down. Yes, yes, yes. Or I should ask, or I should ask him or her to write 1,000 naira. No, 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 no. It's the exact amount she put on, that's on the receipt that she should write down. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Yes, you're welcome. All right, somebody is saying, I don't understand this aspect of living uh, accounts. How will they operate? How do you do that? How do you create the second wallet? Okay, so it depends on the uh, Mr. James, right? It depends on the uh, on the wallet POS you are using. So if you can let us know the POS you are using, so we'll be able to uh, explain better. So Mr. James, which POS are you using? Let me let me see. So I'll tell you how to create. Okay, Mr. James is using Kudi. So now you can create another account on Kudi. So when you log, when you open your Kudi app, the first thing you see is login. But at the bottom, like this, at the bottom right hand corner, you see create new account. So you can create new account without putting any POS there. Just click on that, create new account. So you can use the same details you use for the first one to to open the second one. Just click on create new account. So we ask you for your details. So put all your details. Yeah. So that's the one you give the employee the log the the phone number and the pin to log in. So and at the end of the day, you can always log into the wallet yourself and check. Okay, how much deposit did you do? How much instead of opening the the account with the employee's phone number that she can do or not do anytime. So open with your phone number, your own second phone number, and make sure you have total control. When employee knows that, hey, at the end of the day, a guy will check this thing. They will not want to misbehave. So that's what we mean by that. We are the same thing is used for all the same terminal. So uh, it's not usually advisable to use the same pin for all your terminals. So it's not, it's not usually advisable. It's better to, to, to change the pin 
Uh, it's better to change the pin. And if you are using the same pin, that means you are ready to do the work. That is, you are ready to all, since you instruct employee not to do deposits, because for me, I instruct all my employee not to do deposits on their POS. So any anytime I check yeah. on that deposit and I see transaction, I know that so, so that such employee has done something uh, she's not so he or she is not supposed to do. So that's how I know. So, but I don't reveal my pin to employees. So what about the charges collected from us as charges? So the charges collected, that's why I said is it is it is like a three branch uh thing because. When you are auditing accounts, you audit your account between you and your employee. You audit account between you and the MMO, and you audit account for your business. Now, when you, under your under auditing account for MMO, you can check the charges. Then under auditing account for you and your business, that is the growth of your business, to know whether your two hundred thousand now is equal to two hundred and two thousand. That's where you can check the charges. Now, let's say you withdraw two thousand one. You, that, that means the customer says, take the charges from my account. Now, at the end of the day, the MMO takes, let's say, 10 Naira. That means you are left with 90 Naira. As is, that's not your pure profit because a lot of people get this wrong. Now, so uh, a lot of people get this wrong. That's not your pure profit. Now, uh, the charges is okay let's say 10 era now you have 19 era now you do another 2000 era not 2001 in this case it's 2000 era the bank remove the bank remove okay the other okay let me tell you the the, the best way to do this though it will be fast for you so that you won't be doing it one by one the best way to do it is to say your charges here you get uh can we find formula for this so just say your charges Total charges, that is the charges, all the charges you collect from customer minus, this is not minus, so minus, uh, this can be, okay, it's, it's going to be complex. Okay, minus the difference between your PO, your POS amount, that is the, the amount the employee wrote, so minus the uh, MMO, uh, how can we put it over? POS credits. I'm going to explain this. Should be equal to your equal to your profits. I don't want for formula to, to be here. Now, if you see, if we can see this formula, it means okay. Let's say today you make five thousand naira as charges. Now you need to subtract this. Now you go to your POS. Which is why I said you need to balance your POS between you and the MMO. Now you do you did eighty thousand around on the POS. They credited you seventy nine thousand. Let's say seventy nine thousand five hundred. That means the expenses on POS is five hundred naira. I don't know if you get me. Like charges, you call you, your charges is five. Let's say five thousand. Okay, we are, we've been using eight thousand naira from from above. Okay, charges is eight thousand naira. So you now go and check. Okay, I did. The guest said she did withdraw of eighty thousand naira. You go and check your wallet and check. Okay, they only credited me seventy nine thousand five hundred, which means they have they've already deducted five hundred naira. So five hundred naira is your expenses for on POS alone. So you still need to calculate your expenses for uh, transfer, transfer to the results, maybe 2020 20 Naira. Maybe let's say she did 20, uh, 10 transactions for easier mathematics. 10 transactions, that's like uh, 200 Naira. That's 20, 20 Naira times 10, that's 200 Naira. You just add it to the 500 Naira for POS. Okay, let's do the math here so that, let me show example here. You can keep writing all this down. So that if you did not understand anything at the end of the class, you can easily chat me up. I'll explain for that. <laughs> yes, somebody said that you include cost of data. Yes, that's why I said that's the, the charges, the profit here is not your pure profit. So that's why I say that. So um okay, charges is eight thousand, not eighty thousand. So eight thousand. Let's say POS is eighty thousand. But MMO, they credited you 